Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be a very special one because I'm going to focus on the uh, iconic Yanko Chevrolet in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania, which I had the rare opportunity to go by and see the original building when we were in Pennsylvania loading up the trailer of the 69 Rally Sports Z28 that I just bought and featured on the video that I just released a few days ago. So the audio coming up is the audio that I recorded the day that we were there. So here we are at the original Yanko Chevrolet location. In, and here's the historical plaque. in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. So what's interesting is over here in the lot next door, there is a old billboard that as you can see here says Don Yanko use cars that is so cool And who knows, this may be the lot, which more than likely is the lot where this picture showing a whole bunch of cars, apparently Yanko Camaros that he had ordered that were gonna be converted to Yanko Camaros. And as you can see, the building is pretty big. It goes way back into the back. And boy, sure would be interesting to know if there was anything inside these buildings. And as you can see, it goes all the way to the front to the iconic showroom. So right now, it is currently a motorcycle shop. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of motorcycle parts in there and stuff. But there are other things in there, car stuff. And obviously, there's no Camaro stuff in there. It's been way too long. <laughs> but you never know. Oh. Okay, it looks like maybe these are individual shops now. Because I see a wood shop here that looks like it's a working wood shop. But just imagine what it must be. The, all of this, these are all service bays, obviously. Which, you know, you can just imagine back in the day. You know, there was, this is probably where they did a lot of the you know, the conversions. But boy, right now it's just a lot of junk, which is a really a shame.
I mean, just the history. You know, you look in here and you see dusty old desks and all that stuff. Just the history that must have been that, you know, that these, these walls could talk. A lot of storage, wood, wood products and stuff. But who knows, you know? All the little nooks and crannies in this building, God only knows what you could maybe find, which would be so cool. I'm actually gonna walk all the way around the building. So behind the building, there's like a creek going through here, as you can see. Again, I'm just gonna walk all the way around because as far as I know, no one else, nobody else has done a video like this. Maybe so, I just haven't seen it. So this is the back side. And I don't really know for sure. Some of you could comment down below. But I don't know, maybe this building here next door was part of the, you know, of the dealership at the time, but I just don't know. It's possible. Somebody may know. But again, just the, just being here to look at this building. It's just so much fun. Now, like I said, it's right now that's a lot of motorcycle stuff in there, but it doesn't look like it's in operation at all. But yeah, there's a lot of motorcycle stuff that's been abandoned in there, it looks like. But there again, just the history that of this building is just really very exciting to be here. So again, here's a good shot. try to get a shot here without getting run over by somebody but um, anyway this this angle right here you know is from pictures of the dealer that you've seen many times like this one right here and then you compare it to what the building looks like now. I mean, the building looks sad, but it really is not in that bad a shape. It's just mainly paint, you know? Somebody could paint it and... And again, you know, that writing on the wall right there, 
I don't know what it says or what it said, but somewhere under there it probably says Yanko Chevrolet. So, matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, that sure looks like, you know, the supercar logo that Yanko had. Because I can sure kind of make out an S and a Y, so I don't, I'm not sure for 100%, but that's very cool. So there again, again, I don't know if it's an operating motorcycle shop, but it kind of looks like it. But anyway, just being able to see what it looks like inside is, is very cool. So my die-cast friend of mine, John Fox, is actually having a replica, an 18th, 18th scale replica made of this building. And so I'm hoping that these shots are gonna help in the development of that. So we look forward to that. So anyway, that's Yanko Chevrolet, Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. So by the way, these are shots of the final product that John Fox uh, produced. Uh, it's a 1 scale replica of Yanko Chevrolet, and he did a beautiful job. And I will put a link down in the description if you want to uh, get one of these. They're very limited. I think there are only 200 of them made. But um, check them out. They're really great. So that's going to do it for this video and uh, thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and we will see you on the next one. Thank you very much.